Hello my convicts and convict hats, just in this hide a couple convict bringing you guys and gals another tech video. As you know my tech videos are straight to the point so let's get it on and let's get started. So first of all for those using Windows 10 or around Windows 10 when it had the update of the controller so you can use PlayStation and Xbox controllers. So mainly for Windows 10 or roughly around that. This is the video for you. What you need to do when you first load up Fortnite on PC, if you're going to play against PC players with controller, is go up here. Now what you need to do is go to this little tab, click on the little tab and on the settings, and make sure you go to accessibility here. And this is the one thing, the new feature that I added in, was to ignore gamepad inputs when you're actually playing. Now a lot of people are saying I plug them in my controller, it doesn't do anything, and I've seen many videos, especially yesterday, when I had Windows 7 on my system as well. And it just says, oh, just plug it in and you can play for like Windows 10. And people are saying, well, no, it doesn't. Mine doesn't do that. And it's mainly because of this new feature. So make sure you go to accessibility, turn this off, go to your controller, make sure you select the right controller for you, which I'm using PS4, and then click back. Make sure that if you do go into the settings, when you go to accessibility, if you're changing it, Make sure you, that you click apply as well, as mine was already done, so it wouldn't show that up. But make sure you have it switched to off, and then click apply, and then go and change this to whichever controller. Then go back, and then when you press any button, which I've got my PS4 controller already connected, just press any button, and you can now see I am controlling with my controller. And you can notice by a few things, obviously, you can see the options now for play, which is triangle, square for solo, and so on and so forth. So if you're using Xbox controller or PS4 controller, that is all you need to do to get it to work. So hopefully you've enjoyed. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe if new, tap the notification bell to be notified of all my videos. And you truly can be one of Kappa's convicts or convict cats for the ladies. Now, if you Windows 7 or Narcon version 1, stick around. Anyone else, you can now leave and go enjoy your game on Fortnite. So there we go. If you're on Windows 7 or the Narcon version 1, this is what you need to do. So you need to actually go and go into a different program first in order to get it to work. So if you go here to Google Chrome, type in DS4 Windows, you will then find links such as this one. And all you need to do is click download now. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it myself, but you should end up with this program at the end. And once you've downloaded that, you will get into some files, which will be roughly around about what it says here, uh, DS4 Windows, and then just click on the black controller there and it will open up. and you will get this screen. Okay, so the first thing you want to look out for is the ID. If the ID comes up, and this beginning part here comes up, then it's connected. It says here as, as well, c uh, controller one is using profile PS4 controller. Now the PS4 controller and anything else like that is something I've added in afterwards. So it should just say controller one is in part one or something of that nature. Then when you go to profiles, Click on default, or you can click on new. It's completely up to you. I made a new one and called it PS4 controller. And there you go. That's all you have to do to get it to work. Once that's on there, you should get also a prompt window when you first start up DS4. When it first starts up, you should get this, which you can also go to settings if you miss it. And go here where it says controller driver setup. Click on that. Say yes, and you will get this. This is what you should have got at the beginning. If you've accidentally cancelled it, it's okay. Just go, like I said, into settings, go to controller driver setup, click on it, and it will bring up the prompt again. Then install the DS4 driver, install the Windows 7 for the 360 driver, and then once I've installed, double click them. Uh, well, once I've downloaded, sorry, double click them and install both of them. So download them first by clicking here and here, and then install each one as they come up. So install that, install that once it's done, and that's all you need to do for that. And that's all you have to do to set it up. Once they've been installed, then you're good to go. Just minimize this to the bottom of the screen because you need to keep it open, which will be here 
down at the bottom and then go back to Fortnite then go to the tab make sure you go to settings make sure that you've done also the same change this to ignore to off make sure you've chosen your controller and that's all you need to do for that and again once you've done that for Windows 7 and Xbox version ones you will be able to then just press any key and then click Sheesh, that scared me half to death. And then you will also then be able to control using your controller. Okay, okay. Now I'm going to take off my PS4 controller. I'm going to connect my Narcon. And then I'm just going to show you a quick demonstration of the beginning gameplay. Just to show that it does work and I can move around and do all that. So let me connect my Narcon version 1. So my Narcon version 1 is now connected. So again, it's the same idea. All you have to do is just make sure that it's plugged in and there you go. I can now control with my Narcon 1, as you can see here. And it's displaying as a PlayStation controller. Again, just to remind you, make sure that these are definitely set, as I said. So make sure that's off. Make sure that that says PlayStation or Xbox on Windows 7. Windows 10, all of the windows, make sure they're switched off and you're good to go. You can jump into a game and enjoy using your Narcon PS4 or Xbox controller. So there we go. So that's for Windows 7. DS4 is only for Windows 7 and the Narcon 1. Windows 10, so just literally plug it in, play it, and just make sure you change those settings in the game. So I'm just going to show the Narcon now, playing it a quick little demonstration in the lobby, then I'll quit. And that's all you need to do. So here we go. So my computer is not the strongest. So I don't know how the frame rate is going to be on here. Because it doesn't. It's not able to play the game at the same time and record. But it seems okay. Seems to be handling it okay. It's around about 50 odd milliseconds. But it's doing, it's doing okay on there. As you can see. I can do all the things you can normally do. Jump around. And now for like Narcon, especially on here, any buttons you put on blue mode will be recognized on PC. So if you've got your back button as X, like I do, then you can still use X on the back of your controller. If you're wanting to change anything and it's in blue mode, you will have to plug it into your PlayStation and change it on PlayStation. If you change it to red mode, obviously you can just bring up the Narcon app on here. So if you don't want to change it through blue mode and plug it back to PlayStation. Just go onto your Narcon app here, change it in red mode to wherever you want the buttons to be. Go back to the PC version. It will recognize as it does on PS4 or Xbox and there you go. So I'm going to leave it here. Hopefully this has helped you out. I know a lot of people have been having problems with this. I especially are having problems and had to watch many videos yesterday on Windows 7 until eventually got to the point of going, okay, I need to download this app. And then we can get it to work. So there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe if new. Tap that notification bell to be notified of all my videos. And you truly can be one of Kappa's convicts or convicts. And yes, it is I, the Kappa convict. I'm signing out. And as always, I salute you, my convicts and convicts. And I will hopefully see you in future videos. Bye for now.